for all he has been doing in my life, in the life of my family. It was last two weeks I received all sorts of attacks. And uh, I went to Evangelisema. And he prayed for me and asked me what I will do during the Holy Communion. Because when I'm sleeping, they will be feeding me in the dreams. So, after the Holy Communion, all those things have stopped. So Can I we stop. clap for Jesus? Yes. He can never share his glory with any man. So I thank God for all he has been doing in my life. I say may his name be highly lifted up in the name of Jesus. Can we clap for Jesus? Our body is temporal Holy Ghost. I depend only it's on you. It's not temporal the dream. King of glory. I depend only Number on you. Number one sister. I all of Judea. I depend only on you. King of Number glory. Number one sister. Please come and give me a testimony. I depend only on you. Marvelous God. I depend on you. Listen. Listen. I don't like the spirit I'm seeing here. Where, where else will you be and feel happy? Where else, if not in the house of God? When they are singing song, testimony song, where do you expect your own testimony if you don't enjoy other people's testimony? You are not clapping hands, you are not singing, nobody can stand up and make a joyful noise to the Lord. Ah, how about, let's change that attitude. Sister, let's hear you now. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. I Can we clap for Jesus? Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. I want to thank God how he healed my mother-in-law. For mother healing power. Can we clap for Jesus? Our God is a healer. And today again, he's going to heal somebody. Those that believe. My mother-in-law was sick. You see, he had a beep. BP rise almost 100 and something. So he was going out one early morning. So he fell down. So they rushed her to hospital. They said the BP is high. So I asked her what happened. He said in the morning when he wake up, he was going to church. So he had something fall on top of the man heavily. That minute he did not know what happened again. So after then, he said we should pray. So me and my husband, we start praying. On Tuesday, when I came here, so when I came here on Tuesday, me and my husband, we pray for her. So later, we called her. What happened? He said that he went to hospital. They said the BP is now normal. He has been normalized. We have a restoring God. We are serving a restoring God. I just want to thank God again. The same week, my baby was healed. In the midnight, he was very, he, that his body was very hot. I was afraid that night. So, me and my husband, too, we prayed. So, in the morning, I took her to hospital. Throughout that week, in the midnight, after two, his body will start hot and he will start shivering. So, on Tuesday, I brought her here. I prayed for her and I used that water for her. Since then, that hotness disappeared. You can hear that? Today is another Tuesday. If you did it last Tuesday, you're going to do it again today. I also want to thank God. How is make my sister deliver safely? My you see, sister, only you. He looked for fruit of the womb so many years. So when he <laughs> later uh, he got pregnant and he gave birth to a child, and later he lost that child. But today I want to thank God that she delivered last month. He delivered another child. So I got a child now. <laughs> Clap your hands very well for the Lord Jesus Christ. Also last week, my mommy called me that my senior brother, wife, have delivered a bouncing baby boy, saved me. I want to thank God for all this in the house. Oh, yeah, oh, Jesus, Keleya, Keleya, oh, yeah, oh, Jesus, Keleya, see, I know me now. That they just they follow me up and down. So I noticed I 
I want pray for my shop. So I receive attack on my chest. I say, God, this attack will come for my chest. It cannot win me. I will win the attack in Jesus' name. So, moreover, I don't plan to go native daughter to go cover myself. So, while my sister is in Lagos here, yeah, the one will see on me. So, indirect me to this church. Say, if I come here, God will heal me. So, may I believe as I came, I see brother Chinedu. So, in take over. As I come here, then call me out to here. Say, I came away from Portaco. Say, dead, dead, they follow me up and down. I say, yes. And my brother, Eugene, died last month. Last month. And my papa died last 2010, December. So, and death came to me. God said, I cannot die. So, that's the reason why I'm here. So, now, I thank God. If I begin to explain, there has been, that is a lot of things where God do for my life. So, my testimony, make, when I thank God for my life, in Jesus' name. Can we clap for Jesus? So, I want to pray, oh Lord of mercy, God, as I came to this church, God, make a no go empty hand in Jesus' name. Amen. If you believe, if you believe, will not go empty hand. Church, are we happy? Something is happening. Just key up. If you key in, you are going to receive your own blessing. I have a problem. Can we clap for Jesus? He said, God gave us new accommodation from one room to a flat and also thanking him for not allowing me to be a widow today. Can we clap for Jesus? A total package. A total package. God has been doing good things in my life. And the life of my husband, I say, he that has done this all and, fam and my family, may his, him alone be exalted in the name of Jesus. She is thanking God with son of 1,000. Can we clap for Jesus? <laughs> Number two, sister. I feel like sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for so many things he has done in my life. So many Can we clap for Jesus? Uncountable testimonies. In the month of June, I came here with my with a heavy heart. So they spend some time, they will be praying, I'll be crying. So I had a call that I lost my mother. I am the first daughter. In fact, the senior in the whole family. So looking at the financial aspect of things, there's no money. And looking at another aspect of things in my family, there is no peace. Where am I going to start? I know so much, so many things on my head financially. They have counted all the things that I'm going to do as the first daughter. My husband will do this, will do that. Oh, the, over 200,000. Where am I going to see the money? So uh, somebody brought me to this place. So uh, my husband said, okay, he will apply for loan in this place of work. That day we came here. We have fixed the date for the barrier. Yes, no money. My father has been calling me, send money, do this, do that. I just believe, I have faith that my God will do it. So when I came here for prayers, they prayed for me. And there was a word from God that said, you answer me by fire. So, and I believe that word. And another word again came that, he will, that God wants to position me. That I have not been in my position. That he wants to position me through these circumstances. I believe it. So a week to the burial time, there is no money, nothing yet. So that day, my husband said, let him apply for a loan in this place of work. So he applied. Here, that day was on Tuesday. He said he would submit it that day. I came here. I called him, please send me the name of that man that will sign. Because he said that man is very stubborn. And there is some condition you need to meet before a loan will be granted in the place of work. And he has not met the condition. So how, how is the man going to sign the, the letter? I said, okay, test the name of the man to me. That day, 
we are praying all sorts of prayer points. I was telling God, God, if he's disobedient, I'm doing it. No. Have mercy for me. Is this man's name I've been calling? Mr. So and so, sign this thing. Mr. So and so, I was calling his name, calling his name. I said, God, send your angel. I believe that you are in this place. If you are in this place, I believe. But if you are in this place, show me that you are in this place. I will come and testify. For the first time that I will come and testify in this place. Let that man sign. Even though my husband does not qualify for that, so, for such money. Close his eyes. He will not even read the letter. Let him just approve the thing. So, yeah, immediately after this, immediately we close. The person that brought me said, let us go. I said, Auntie, wait small. I just take the name of the man. I come and drop it on the altar. I say, God, you and this man, let's both of you do whatever to the heart of the king is in your hand. Whatever thing that pleases you, do with him. I know he will sign that in this week. Next week, Monday, I want to travel. So I got home. I explained to my husband how, everything, how things went. Two, two days later, he came back from work. He was working sluggishly. He didn't come the normal time he used to come back. I said, this one, you're working like this. Why did they come back? He said, today is Friday. Uh, today is Thursday. Like, almost everybody, they have traveled. Because in this place of four, they do travel weekend. But uh, that students, they are not around. So he, they, would, they traveled on time on Thursday today. So there's no much work to do. That's why he came back. I said, I did not go and check this man. Whether he signed this thing. He said, leave me alone. He just walked two steps forward as if he wants to enter. He just said, they have given me the check. I've paid it. Jesus! God has surprises. <laughs> he, just, he just brought out uh, some, uh, some amount from his, back, uh, his pocket. 20,000. He said, take, go to the market and buy some things. Hey, hey life don't change. <laughs> I said, ha. Huh. I said, how many? The man, the boss assigned this money now immediately. They said that they were looking for him. They assigned this the money the following day that he brought the letter. And he did not come to check for his uh, check. That God has, in fact, he was so happy. So I thank God. That immediately I knelt down outside. I was thanking God. I said, God, so, eh? so you want to put me in my position through, through. Uh -huh. He will not allow people to mock me as the other. They will say, I do this, do that. I will say, no money. <laughs> ah, God. So I was so happy. So at the end of the day, down Monday, I traveled home and a house where there's no peace. I was going and they have prayed, they have, they have granted me that I should go home. When I came to this, that no problem. When I got home, they received me like, in fact, like a queen. Can you hear that? God has stepped into that matter. Amen. So there was, we stayed with love, we stayed together, everything that we have to do, we did, we do everything, the very like one family. People come to Ifa, look at the way they are honoring me on never before. Yeah, level don't was. change. So I thank God for everything, for safe journey, yeah, for the level, honor, don't for the positioning, for everything he has done for me. I, I want can to give God all the praise. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. Oh my sir. I, I can, can see everything. Somebody today, today, today. Today, somebody, something will happen in your life. I have seen Lord Jesus. Yes, yeah, see, that is their neighbor. Can you clap for Jesus? Uh -huh. Whenever you do it to one of these little ones, you did it to him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I just want to thank God for saving my wife from Boto accident. Can we clap for Jesus? The God of protection. It happens that last week, Saturday, he was traveling from Ibadan to Shobu. Get on her way. She has an accident, serious one, which uh, three people die, why others injured. But he comes from that bus without any injury. Without any pains. Hey, this guy gone. God of bride assembly are too much. So I thank God. God will continue to save her in Jesus' name. Amen. Is that all you can do? Is that all you can do for this mighty God? His name is Aya. Above all the names. For those that are coming here for the first time, if today is your first time of coming here, make sure you have a sachet of pure water. The one you will drink. If not a bottled one or sachet, make sure you buy one. Because God is going to use it to do something in somebody's life. If you are the one, can you say, Thank you, Lord Jesus? Sister, can we hear you? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. My brothers and sisters. I want to tell you that the God of Bride Assembly is the most powerful God of ever. Can we clap for this most powerful God? This is my six years of marriage now. When my friend brought me to this church, I was childless. With a big five bride that the doctor said is not possible for me to conceive. I came here, I received prophecies from Igbo, Sister Ngozi, so many of them, Brother Ima, that the Lord said I will give birth. Even Prophet Sante, he was the last person that gave his own prophecy. He called me out and my husband. Most of you here might have seen me that day with my husband. He called me baby. We came out here. <sighs> Prophet Sante said, the Lord has given you your baby. You can and, see the evidence. And this is the beautiful baby. You can see the evidence. Whenever I come for a Wednesday program, Pastor Paul will say, if you know you have a fibroid, go and operate it. Go and do surgery. Don't be praying so that we will back you up in prayer. Hey, I will say, God, me, I have fibroid. The other man will say, even though you have five bodies, is there anything your father in heaven cannot do? I say no. To my greatest surprise, hey, I conceived not knowing I was nine months and four days pregnant. Can we clap for Jesus? I was still seeing blood. Uh. If I go to my shop, I will feel like eating human being. A day came, I told my husband, I wanted to drink Cerelac. He said, baby, you are sick. Let us go to hospital. <laughs> we went to hospital. Doctor said, you are two months plus pregnant. I knelt down. It don't happen. I said, God, thank you. It don't happen. Another thing. The bleeding started again. When I go to hospital, doctor will say, how many pads have you used? I said, I have not used any pad. We change hospital. To the hospital will change. God now use that doctor at a weather and saved me and my baby he told my husband that this is a miracle baby with the degree of this fibro i'm shocked that your wife is pregnant for us to save this baby let us tie her womb so that the baby will not fall off my husband called pastor moses even prophet dio came to our house at a weather he prayed for me with about four brothers. He said, go and do what the doctor asks you to do. That sometimes God uses doctor to save us. And we did what he said. My baby stayed. Till nine months. Doctor said, I will not wait for labor. That we have to take the baby out and remove the fibroid. Lord, I thank you. On the 13th of March... This year, oh God, hey, the Lord did wonders. I did the surgery. You can see the baby now. Four hours, four hours surgery. God, I am alive today. Who am I? Not to say thank you, Jesus. Who am I, Jesus? Not to say thank you. I want to tell each and every one of you who is expecting from the Lord. Ah, believe, trust in Him. He will do it one day. Don't lose hope. Me, I lost hope. But whenever I come to bride, I will be happy. I will say, God, do it for me. Oh. You say, believe Let in the one that I prophet. Let somebody pray for me. Why you say prosper? Let I believe somebody pray for me. Let me prosper. Today, God is this Sunday. Let me pray Oh, God of pride, I thank you. God of pride, I thank you. God of pride, I thank you. He's a mighty man in battle. I don't know why Jesus loves me. I don't know why. I don't know why Jesus loves me. I don't know. Sister, do you know? I don't know why Jesus loves me. I don't know why. I 
For somebody's here that is in the same situation to believe and have faith in God that you are still going to conceive no matter the situation. Can we clap for Jesus? It's a lovely to God. Sister, let's hear you. Praise the Lord. I want to use this song to glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This very God this very God, this very God, receive all glory. This very God, Almighty Father, this very God, receive all the glory. This very God, this very God. Father, this very God, receive all the glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for his wonderful work and his goodness upon me and my family. Can we clap for Jesus? I told God that if he if he did this thing for me, I will come here. I must come here and testify. It was in, on their prayer, my elder brother wanted to do his wedding. So we are putting him in prayer. So he has already prepared his card and he started sharing the card. So along the line, I had a dream. Um, somebody was holding that that uh, wedding card and was announcing it in the congregation like this, that that the owner of this card, they just brought a news that he just gave up on that dream. I woke up, I was very troubled because in 2009, I wanted to do my wedding. A sister called me that, that, he, that he had a dream that I want to do the wedding, but I did not do that wedding. I was telling him that one of my persons died and that, that was why I did not do that wedding. So the thing, if not that God really intervened on that 2009, that my wedding, I, did, I wouldn't have do, did it. But it happened that I did uh, my wedding on Saturday, um, or reaching on Sunday morning, when we are about to come and give our Thanksgiving uh, this thing, wedding. We had the news that my sister just gave up that morning. So we did not do our Thanksgiving because of the news we had. So when I had this dream of my brother, I was very troubled. I said, God, you say that affliction will never rise the second time. I don't know what the enemy has planned to stop this, my brother's wedding. But God, prove yourself that you are God indeed. I, when I, whenever I come this uh, prayer ground, I will always, always come with that his, wedding, uh, that his wedding card and his picture. I say, God, don't allow anything to happen. Let this wedding take place successfully without no problem. That if he do it for me, I will surely come here and give him glory. And I want to fulfill that promise today. I say, God, who did it for me? That that wedding took place in a mighty way. That no, no, nothing like no. Everybody that came that wedding go without no problem. And there is no bad news. I say, God, receive all your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And another one is uh, my sister. She was due to deliver uh, the following month, that June. <laughs> So when he called us uh, that, that he's already in the theater, that, that the doctor told him that he's going to go on oppression, <laughs> fear came into me and said, God, let, it be, let your only will be done. If it is your will for her to go on oppression to deliver uh, her, her baby, let it be done according to your will. So the thing take much time. When I when we call we call your husband, they, they say that it, that nothing is working. So I started praying. I said, God, prove yourself that you are God uh, in, in in our life. Let her deliver us. We even order oppression or no oppression. I want her life to be saved and the baby. 
So God did it for us. Even after he, he, the self-delivery, I started having dream again that they carried the, because he gave back to twins, twins. So I was in a dream. They just, they started carrying the baby to me that I should take care of the baby that my sister is no longer alive. I said, ah, I reject it. I reject Two times. I said, ah, the second one, somebody gave, uh, came to me and told me, said that I should go and carry those, my, my sister's children, that he's no longer there to take care of them. I said, where, where is she? They said that they don't know. They, know. they don't know anything about her again. I said, I reject that. God, whatever plan of the name is, my sister will not die. So far as you have delivered those babies, she will live to take care of those babies. And up to now, both my sister and her children, they are standing. Can we clap for I Jesus? God, his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Whenever I start anything, you're going to perfect it. And I want to say, God, who have done this for me? Because I say, God, if you do this for me, I want to, I will use 2,000 naira as a token to appreciate him. I want to say, God, thank you very much in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, brother, please come and give that. Jesus, day here. I have a written testimony here. My sister Chisum Osele. If you are here, come and be anointed. He said, Good morning, everyone. My name is Sister Chisum Osele. I'm thanking God for what He has done in my education. After my first semester examination, I was given an F in one of my course, which I knew I did very well. So I prayed to God about it. And the score was changed soon after I approached the lecturer that took the course. Can we clap for Jesus? She later found out that she did not record my exam, but only my test was recorded. I thank God that the mistake that is the F was deleted immediately and my really score manifested. Can we clap for Jesus? I also thank the Lord for his financial favor upon my life. And I'm thanking him with the sum of 500 naira. Can we clap for Jesus? Let Sister Chisum come and be anointed. Brother, carry on. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in the house of God, I want to testify the goodness of the Lord towards my life. Can we clap for Jesus? He's a good God. And most especially in the area of uh, my business place, I want to glorify the name of the Lord Almighty because our Lord is good, especially the God of Bride Assembly here. Can you hear that? I hear no change. He's a good today. It is an original God among the whole other places our lord is good here my dear brothers and sisters my testimony goes like this uh, there is a car like that in our business place that i bought i transacted the business with just a friend of mine and of which everybody was like running to buy the car but at the end of the day, I fall a victim of uh, transacting the business with the young man. Then everybody was uh, like blaming me. Why should I buy the car? Even if like just like a Kobo or a Faden that I did not supposed to make that mistake in buying the car, that I, it would be very, very hard enough for me to even see a customer that is, is it even going to buy the car then at the end of the day i pick courage like pleading to them that the mistake have already been uh, done that my god will even interfere in all over which is the god of bride assembly here which i believe and he later answered me just last week saturday when I was like even being uh, frustrated, they picking no courage anymore in going for where the car is even being sighted. But at the end of the day, 
I was like meeting a friend that promised that he will even render a help to me to see say yeah that I said the car. But at a while I remember that since I have the God of bride here yeah, that I should walk straight ahead to church here yeah, and kneel down at the altar there and pray and go back to my area of uh, worship there and immediate effort a buyer, a serious buyer comes. Manifest it. Can you clap for Jesus? A serious buyer, not every buyer, a serious one. Of which the buyer committed uh, 10,000 naira to me, saying he's bringing the balance of uh, 140,000 naira this week, which is either tomorrow or Thursday. The young man promised to come. And uh, brother, uh, prophet Sunday, told me that I should go and realize that the buyer is going to come this week, but not this very uh, Monday that passed yesterday, which is even Tuesday, or Tuesday, which is today being the Tuesday, Shiloh, that I should come to church and pray whatever I wanted the God to do for me, that the buyer is going to come this week, but it's not going to be on Monday. It is settled. On Sunday. So, Can we clap for Jesus? He that started a good work is going to perfect it. So, my dear brethren in the house, I want you people to follow me and glorify the God because our Lord is good in pride and assembly here. And whatever is your problem that is bothering you, bear it in mind. From that gate to enter this uh, Coluco room, which is this very area of uh, environment, this atmosphere here, your problem is going to be solved in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the Lord of Can we clap for Jesus? Number four, sister. I never know. He was you can do better. You can do better. You can do better. God bless you. Amen. Sister, Church. let's hear you. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I was supposed to have given this testimony. The day I was dedicating my baby. But because there was no time, that was why I couldn't give it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I came here purposely to see a prophet. But when I came, I saw a different dimension of Christianity. Can we clap for Jesus? A different dimension of Christianity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I didn't want to go again. I wanted to know God more and more and more and more. I refused to go and see any prophet again. So it happened one day. I've been believing God for the fruit of the womb for the past seven years. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Somebody hear that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So he came as a woman that is believing God for the fruit of the womb. A sister here directed me to where I should go. So I felt it's just for medication. But when I went there, I, it was where the angels couldn't go. So I ran back. Hmm. I went straight to the pastor. I told him where I went to. I don't know whether God still will assess me again. So, but I didn't commit anything. I, didn't, I wasn't involved. I ran back. So he said that since I wasn't involved at all, that there's no, no problem, that he need to do deliverance. Pastor Moses, he did deliverance for me at the altar. And immediately after the deliverance, I have never seen a prophet. I have never gone to see a prophet. So one Sunday, after the Sunday worship, Prophet Sunday was over there. He came directly because I was like, ah, uh -uh, my name is not a popular name. When would they even call my name? So he came directly over there and called me and one other sister and told me this is the problem I'm passing through. This is what is wrong. My case was so complicated. So if God can do for me, God can do for every, anybody. Can we clap for Jesus? Every complicated case today, we have a solution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So he told me 
that after the, that, that day was a communion service. He said that after the communion service that God is going to take away whatever that has been hindering me from taking. In fact, there is no problem the doctor said I did not have everything. So, but I thank God that God honored that prophecy. And this is the result of the prophecy. Can we clap for Jesus? When Jesus comes, every problem will have a solution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I redeemed my vow that day. But this testimony, I have not been able to give it. And my conscience was pricking me. So I purposely came here to say, God, I am so grateful. Thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Let your heart rejoice. You have fulfilled your part. Can we clap for this God? It's a miracle working God. In the Lord, disappointing me. I have never seen the Lord disappointing me. His word is yes. His word is yes. I have never seen the Lord disappointing me, disappointing me. Disappointing me. His word is yes. His word is yes. His word is amen. I have never seen the Lord disappointing me, sisters. I have never seen the Lord. I have never seen the Lord. He swore this year, he swore this year, he swore this amen. I have never seen the Lord disappointing me. Oh, give me now, oh, the glory for more. Oh, give me the secret, oh, the glory for more. I have never seen the Lord disappointing me. I have never seen the Lord disappointing me. He swore this year, he swore this year, he swore this year, he swore this year, man. I have never seen the Lord disappointing me. Can we clap for Jesus? If you put trust in him, he will never disappoint you. Just believe. Can we hear you, brother? Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, the first time I came in here, I didn't come for prayers. I was I came around for something else. But I just found discovered that something is going on here. Let me find out what Can you hear here. that somebody? Something is going on here. Then when I stepped in here, uh, the kind of thing I was hearing and seeing, I've not I've never ever seen that before. So and uh, if you want to clap, clap it very well. Somebody, your eyes will open today again. Your eyes will open today, somebody. And you see and hear what you never hear before. And I was so excited because I was shouting. I've never seen people seen people's hearts, you know. Then when I got home, I went home with water, you know, I was, I was so happy. So when I go home, I, my wife normally has some kind of heart problem that whenever she thought about something or think, and she will, she will, she will be shaking, you know, she just took the water casually. Just I must tell you, we didn't, we, we didn't even remember the heart thing again. It so just she took it to casually. Me. Then just of recent, my son got his, his hand broken. The hand was broken and uh, I went to history. I, I was so bad. I went to history and I saw the hand was broken. I saw the bone was broken. Yeah. I don't know what to do, but I just thank God that it's going to be fine. But they put POP and all that. I came for prayers. After they blessed the water and I, I remembered, oh, my son's hand. And I used the water and pour my hand and said, Father, as I point this water on my hand, fix my son's hand. And uh, I went home. On getting home, my son pulled off the POP. You can see faith in action. Somebody, you can see faith in action. Ah! 
so wonderful. He pulls off the POP. Boy, how did you pull off the POP? Why? He says, no more pulling him. He said, it's no more paining me. God is in simplicity. <laughs> I was. Even till now, you can't differentiate the broken hand and this. As he's, he plays his normal playing, normal everything, till now, I can't find anything. Can we clap mm. for Jesus? <laughs> that healing shall be permanent. You know, and just uh, three days ago again, and uh, I, my wife went out to get something because we ran out of stock, and she said her rush to get something outside. On going out there, my children came out and said they are looking for their mother. Normally, you don't come out of, out of the compound. Now, but it's still in the estate anyway. But my wife have already gone, trying to, on her way coming back, there, there was a bush path. She never want to, she don't like passing through that place because she said she normally sees snake there. And the place now got bushy that she said there would be more snake. So she never want to pass there. And uh, on her way coming back, she said the spirit called her, said, take that way. Said, okay, she reluctantly have to take that way on coming there see two men moving with my children the children she couldn't understand boy angel what are you doing here where are you going he said we are looking for you and who are these men said they want to show us where you are In the estate, and just of recent, someone, our security in the estate, kidnapped someone. We don't know that going to people's houses, he find out how they are, and he, he called some people and they kidnapped someone, which the people have to pay them one million naira. At long run, they arrested him, you know, when the thing came out. And the same place, my children and some men are moving. Uh, well, I. I <laughs> I don't know if we have to thank God. We are serving the God of intervention. Said, may His name alone. He will never glorify. put us to shame. I thank God. No. He will never allow God. us to go happy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we do something for this Lord? Stand on your feet. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. Is a miracle walking God. Uh -huh. Is a miracle walking God. Is it Jesus? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, get connected. Something is happening here. Something is happening. If you believe that something is going to happen in your life, say, Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. He will do it. Sister, let's hear you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I just want to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life and my family. Can we clap for Jesus? He's a kind God. Firstly, I want to thank God for the safe delivery of my son. I used to be um, a regular attendant of the Wednesday expectancy program. Um, one of the Wednesdays I was prayed for and I was told that I was going to have five minutes delivery. And all to the glory of God, it happened that way. Can we clap for Jesus? Five minutes labor. It is just stress, stress free. I ex no pain, nothing. You just was, enter the paper room. I was like, is that the way it used to be? I heard other women say, ah, they're experiencing so much pain. And each time I watch the movie, I see, you see pregnant women want to go and deliver. You, know, you see them like this. But I just, nothing happened. Uh -huh. What the nurses told me that if I say, I saw it and it was just like that. I had just my like baby. Can't wait up for Jesus. Just like that. Somebody here. Just like that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, last Tuesday, there's this my brother that I've been praying for. 
I've been praying for him all the time for business breakthrough and everything. So last Tuesday, when we closed, I was going home. I was in a bus and he called me and asked me if I've left the church. I said, yes, that I've left the church. He said, okay, that he wanted me to pray for him. That there is a business he did with someone. And the person that if care is not taken, that the person is going to give him a meager amount of money. That she just pray that he's expecting about 100,000 or so. That she just pray that the man gives him that money. I said, okay, no problem. I called some of the brothers here and I told them they exchanged numbers and they prayed for him. After the prayer, um, this was happening on Tuesday. Wednesday, nothing. I asked him, how far? He said um, that, they've not, that they paid some amount but they've not paid all. I said, okay, that the amount you're expecting, that is the exact amount you're going to get. He said, okay. Then that is the Wednesday, Thursday, he just called me and told me that they've paid him the money. Even though they did not give him exactly 100000 but they gave him something worthwhile. And I said, I'm going to stand before the people of God and testify for this. Hallelujah. And we clap for Jesus. It's God our favor. Mama, see sister. Amen. 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 You know, whatever matter, you come here with the with him. Our God is bigger than that problem. So feel at home. Have confidence that after today, that problem will not go home with you in the name of Jesus. But I let's hear you. Brethren, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life and for delivering Can my we soul. Can we for Jesus? For the goodness of God upon his life. And for delivering my son. Last Shiloh Tuesday, I was here. Before I left home, my two kids ran temperature. I was wondering why. I said, well, I'm coming to Shiloh. Let me come and pray for them. I told the mother, just take care. I'm coming. On reaching here, we prayed. The water is anointed. I drank some, washed my legs, washed every part that I can wash. Take the remaining back home. On reaching home, I discover my youngest son. I mean, to pass you in was very, very difficult. He'll be running in a cycle, holding his organ. Uh, we're wondering with my wife. So I now remember I have anointing water. Let me give him to drink. I now pray over it. Gave him the anointing water to drink. So after like five minutes, I saw him on the pressure, trying to pass urine. So the mother now holy, took him outside. After a while, she now called, shouted that I should come and see, come and see. I rushed out and I discovered at the tip of his organ there's like a stool coming out of the organ. You know, it blocked where the urine will come out. I was shocked. I've never seen it. Though I've heard that for old men between the ages of 65, 70, they always have this stool that always blocks their urinary tract. I was wondering, ah, but my child is just two years. How can that happen to him? So I called my neighbor up. I said, please come and see this. So we tried to kind of press the stone out. It couldn't. So he now said, let's rush him to a hospital. I said, man, I don't have a hospital here because we relocated from Sapele. He said, he has a family hospital. Let's go, let's go. On reaching to the hospital, the doctor now looked at it and said, ah, it's mystery. I mean, how can a child of two years have this kind of problem? So he rushed him to the theater. After a while, they operated him and they removed a very big stool. So I'm here to say, I thank God for delivering my son. Can we clap for Jesus? Our Father, he was in many ways. In heaven, we glorify your name. If you can look around, left, front and back, you can see anything that God has done for you. Can you stand up and shout hallelujah? hallelujah. That blessing shall be permanent. Amen. 
I have a written testimony here by Sister Patricia. Say, my name is Patricia. I'm thanking God for granting my, John, my younger brother, Uchenna, Johnny Mercy. Can we clap for Jesus? I also want to use this opportunity to beg God to please deliver him from the captivities of the enemies in his life. The Lord will do it. He said, I'm thanking God with son of 1,000. Can we thank God? <laughs> Clap your hand for the Lord Jesus. I still have a few minutes remaining for those that came late. One or two persons to testify. I still have a few minutes left. Sister, come on. Can we clap for I Jesus? I am singing a new song today. I am singing a new song today. Oh, oh yes. What my mother can I do? Jesus has done it in my life. Singing a new song today. What about you? I am singing a new song today. I am singing a new song. Singing a new song today. What my mother cannot do. Hallelujah, Amen. For a friend, Master Jesus. Hallelujah, Amen. I want to use the opportunity to, to, to thank God for what He has done to me and my family. Can we clap for Jesus? I, I came here last Tuesday. Be the second time of coming here. Mm -hmm. After the service, I went through the water baptism. Uh -huh. and, and, and went home. So, in the morning... After taking my bed, I sprinkled the Holy Ghost, a subject of Holy Ghost water, into all over my body, uh -huh. and left to my shop. Immediately I reached my shop, I opened one subject of Holy Ghost water and sprinkled it in the passage in the corridor of my shop. The anointed the water and 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 the, and, the, and passage everywhere. So I, immediately I opened my shop. I enter my shop. I feel that something move out of my body. Can we clap for Jesus? Darkness and light are not in common. And I, I, I have a, I beat, I beat, the type of beat and I beat, I beat it down. When I, when I, when I sit down, I say, Put the mic on your mouth so that I can hear you. When I, when I, when I, uh -huh. when I open my shop, I, I, I sat down. I said, Jesus, what is happening to me? Now deliverance. I, I waited for like 15 minutes. When I get up, I, I've noticed that every, all the sicknesses I've been going through since one week, two weeks, more than two weeks, I've taken medicine. I don't know, I don't know what is going, going on in my life. If I take, um, I, 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 I take, a, I took a um, type of malaria drugs. I took a malaria, I don't know, stomach, 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 stomach uh, uh, drugs. I, 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 they, all of them didn't solve my problem. My mind is telling me, come to this uh, bright assembly. Come to this uh, bright assembly. Every Tuesday, I want to come. My customer will call me that he's coming. But this one, last Tuesday, I, I, I sent a message that to them that, I, that I'm going to hospital. That they should hold on. Maybe to, uh, any, to, uh, when I there or any time, that I must come here and, and receive my healing. And so that she has done to me in Jesus' name. And I received my It shall be permanent. Can we clap for Jesus? Two minutes. Church. Two minutes. You are the last despair. Church, praise the Lord. In fact, it was this brother that stand here that bring out this testimony in me. I never wanted to. I didn't, I didn't realize until that brother stand here and said that what happened to his son. But I know that God has done something marvelous. I, maybe I didn't know. Maybe I was carried away with the problem or something. I don't know the joy, but it down on me that God did something marvelous. You know, some time ago, I came here, stood here when I dedicated my second baby. 
I came here, I stood here before my brothers. Just, you know, sometimes when you have, you are in kind of a little problem and all that, you will be promising God, if you happen like this, you will do like this. And I said that, and I fulfilled that by saying, God, I had my daughter, I had a daughter. I said, God, if only she can stand, just hold something and stand, I will do thanksgiving. That was, and I fulfilled it. But behold, this brother, you don't know what he has even done to make me remember what God has done. You see, hey, to go it in my, it in my, it in my, china kemo, maria kele, beli. I had her come see. Time she was supposed to work, she didn't work. We've done everything. We went everywhere. They say nothing was wrong with her. We've done all we can do. They say nothing is wrong. We've gone everywhere, anywhere, anywhere anybody talked about. We'll go. They will say, take her, there is nothing wrong. But you can see the problem. But then, behold, after when I did that Thanksgiving, the issue was today. We just don't know what to do because the things we feel we're supposed to do, we, couldn't, we have done it. Yet, the problem is there, and they said she has no issue, that she has no problem. Then I leave it to God. I have been praying. I prayed. I just challenged, but I just told God all that I have to say. Behold, on a faithful day, after that day, even somebody said, one, uh, you say uh, you, you are a child of God, you are a seed of God, you are this. And see your child now. Mm, what thing happen? Even you, they pray for people. They go, come, they shout for your house. Thanks, money. See your own. There is nothing they have not said. But it didn't bother me. I don't give a damn. Because I know my God. I know the God that I'm serving. I know the God that brought me out of dungeon to honor. I know the God who glorified himself in my life. Even when as much as people thought nothing good would come out of me. He, put, he took me from the, from the lowest ground to the toppest. Where no one can bring me down. That God was able to do that. And I trusted in him. But behold on a faithful morning. This guy I'm talking about is almost three years. She cannot walk. She can't even move, use her legs. But on a faithful day, I came out from the bedroom, going to my room. She was playing at the parlor. Thank God, nothing happened to her. She's perfectly okay. She talks, she learns, she goes to school. I take her, take her, bring her. Just we have to carry, 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 carry. Just like that. But then, it wasn't giving me a problem because I trusted in God. But behold, I didn't want to, I've not planned for this testimony, but this brother, this testimony he gave for his child, that's two years. In fact, he brought out the, the, the best Tell testimony in happened. my life. This so what child, happened? Time this, is going. This child, when I went to the bedroom, I came out, went inside the room. She called me, mommy, mommy, I can walk in Jesus' name. I said, amen. I answered, amen. As in me, I used to pray for her. I felt maybe she was learning those prayers was given to her. She called me again. She said, Mommy, I can walk in Jesus' name. I said, Amen. He said, Mommy, I, want, I should come. I said, Come. He said, Should I come? I said, I should come. Behold, a child that cannot walk for almost three years. Jump up she cannot move her leg. That girl stood up. She stood up. And said, she walked walk with her legs. She moved it. That leg was moving. She walked with her legs. She didn't fall. She ran to me. She fell. She stand up again. She said, Mommy, I can walk in Jesus' name. I say, Amen. She stood up and began to walk. That was how she started to walk. Clap for your hands, three years. George. Clap your hands. God bless you. I thank just you want to thank much. God. I really want to appreciate what Amen. he has done. I thank him for his faithful. I thank him for his faithfulness. I thank him for clothing my enemies with shame and for glorifying himself. In the life of that girl. Hallelujah. I really thank God. And even as much as when we came for dedication for Munachiso, I told God, this one, 
I know what I've seen, but I know you will complete it. This one, I gave you time. This said nine months must not pass her. I don't want to go through what I went through for this girl again. Exactly nine months. She did not stand for one day. The day she completed nine months, she stood up. Hallelujah. I just want to praise God. Thank he completed his work. He fulfilled his promise. May his name be glorified. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together now for our God. I am serving a living God. Amen.